Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1076 for Monday, April 26th, 2010. The Breville One Touch Tea Maker. And now, get ready for Dick. It's a brand new week, a brand new day, and a brand new day. The Gizwiz. It's a brand new week, and a brand new day, and a brand new daily Gizwiz. It's a brand new week, and a brand new day, and a brand new daily Gizwiz. The worse your life, day, and a brand new week, and a brand new day, the better we sound. It makes its own gravy. The worse your life, day, and a brand new day, and a brand new day, the better we sound. The worse your life, the better we sound. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the star of our show. He's been waiting all week in a cardboard box on Funkin' Wagnall's porch, Mr. Dick D. Bartolo. Leo, how you doing? Oh, Dickie D. I'm so fantabulous. Wow. Yes, I'm excited. And why is that? I don't know. It's called <laughs> you've you've heard of uh, you've heard of the uh, you know groundless anxiety, free floating yes. anxiety. I have free floating joy. Wow. There's no reason to be happy. There's no possible, you know, explanation for it. And yet there it is. Wow. Have you been drinking? Yes. That, okay. See that? Good. Yeah. <laughs> See, I should have went for my doctor's degree. But... You, you're very I good. Can I can identify those things. You just... picked right up on that. Yeah. There's, when you sat down and fell off the ball, I said, diagnosis, drunkenness. You know, it's true. Yes. That. Probably, in all likelihood, doing what I do, which is I work on a, a, on a ball, on an exercise, big rubber, yes. hollow, yes. inflated exercise ball. Right here it is. There it is. And uh, yes. probably um, doing as I do, sitting on a ball, probably is a good way to keep you from being a drunk. Because I would. I would fall. This thing requires a little bit of attention. Yeah. I, I don't know how you do it and not... For your back out of line. No, no, it's good for, I think it's supposed to be good for your back. Really? Well, okay. you're more, one of the things that's true is you're more uh, mobile. You're moving around more. Yeah. You see me bounce I when see. I, you know, I'm in a good mood. I bounce. Yeah. Which is strange because, I mean, I'm quite frankly embarrassed when we go to restaurants and there is no <laughs> ball. And he's sitting there. And going, Come on, oh, Nick. Oh, can we have dinner? Can we have dinner? Dick, I go, Dick. Uh, Leo, no, Leo, that's, it's the chair. It's a chair, Leo. Just sit it down. I do. You know, it's funny that you should say yeah. that because how yeah. many years now? I've been on this ball for three or four years. Yeah. And uh, so you haven't noticed anything strange about your pants lately? <laughs> They're worn a little bit. No, no, no. Okay. no something. Jen called me up and she said, God, what can I? I said, what is Jen, it? Velcro. Ah. Velcro on the pants. Ah. Taking the restaurants where they have seats with upholstery on it. Ah. It will slow them down a bit. Ah. So I guess it's not work. Ah. <laughs> yeah. No, I uh, the Velcro on the pants trick does work. Oh, the it only, does? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. The only problem is I keep thinking I'm tearing my pants because every time I get up, I hear... Oh, get up. <laughs> so, it, no, but it does so keep you in you place. Go, where are you going or where have you been because today. it's somebody's anniversary? Today. Well, not, today, not as, uh, as we record, not today as we air. Right. Uh, we're recording this on April twentieth, and um, it is my nineteenth anniversary. It is the big, uh, you know, the big bronze anniversary. Oh, bronze! That is, I think, probably the most important. I bought it's her the a Tibetan uh, temple bell. About eight oh, it's yeah, great! A couple of tons, so uh, it's it's probably not going to come today. The truck will pull up later. I don't know. What do you get out of bronze? Is bronze an element? It's an um, alloy, isn't it? Is it not an alloy? You have, an, you have uh, army boots. You could bronze, could bronze that. my Bron old army boots. Why don't you bronze something? Why don't you bronze your ball? <laughs> no, okay. I don't know if giving my wife a pair of, of bronze balls is really what she wants. <laughs> she's not expecting anything. No. 
because you know, she said she sent me an email. Am I getting anything? I said, um, and as far as I can guess, no. I so. could run over. You know what I may do after the show today? I run over. Yeah. Petaluma is chock a block with antique stores, and yes. I bet you I could get her a great Frederick Remington cowboy on a horse bronze. That will. Oh, that, that's good. That combines what two of the things she some, loves like, most: antique bronze. Plumbing things for the bathtub, like a fixture, a, a bronze fixture, a swan, a swan, something you know, elegant and yet cheap. <laughs> and you know me so well, Dave. I know, I know, I know. That's me, cheap and elegant. Cheap and elegant. No hey, problem. speaking That's of cheap, yes, do you got a gadget for us today? Uh, I do have a gadget. Uh, yes. now. You have a Breville tea maker. I am a Breville right? guy. I, I did a Breville tea maker. I have a Breville toaster. And I recently purchased a Breville toaster oven, the finest toaster oven $300 can buy. Okay. Now, you now have to buy something else new. Really? They make more than just those three things? No, but the tea kettle you have is now officially a piece of crap. Good, because it okay. never worked very well. I didn't... It I, didn't? I, you know, we got a defective one, and I just never sent it back. It, yeah, it didn't work so well. Oh, okay. It well, was expensive, it, so I really should have sent it back. But you I, should have, because yeah. it was like $250, It was, right? yeah, something like that. Okay. I just never uh, got so around have, to it. So you ever, have, have a, is that just me? Is that just kind of... Is there something wrong with me? Because I just, I just never... I guess... It's like, oh, God, i got to send that back. And it ends up just sitting in a pile somewhere. Yes, $250, I would send it back. And I mean, you know, was it anything much? under 50 bucks, if you have to pack it and stuff, you go, I don't know. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, no, no. But $250. I feel guilty. I should have returned. Yeah. And also, especially since you like tea. I mean, for me, I, be I do. I do. Well, yes. you know what I did? Yeah, I went to Costco. I bought a twelve dollar teapot. It works well. It's just an electric tea kettle. I just, it's fine. So I, have to, I should really owe an apology to all the people who went out and bought that reveal. It yeah, does you should do owe them an apology because now the new model is out. Okay, maybe I'll get that one. What is? What does the new oh, okay. model do? Okay, so now uh, we should explain to people that these are very high end tea makers. Oh yeah, they're expensive. And that until you told me about it, I did not know. That various teas each require their own temperature for the brewing water. Well, and that was frankly why I got it because I wanted to make green tea with 160 degree water. And you know as well as I do that the Arobi AeroPress coffee maker that we love so much. Yeah. They say don't put and, and I've heard this again and again. Don't put boiling water on coffee grounds. It's too hot. They said 175 degrees. In the Breville, you could press a button that says 175 degrees and another button that says hold, and it will keep it at exactly that temperature. Okay. Well, the new one does that. Oh, good. Okay, but... So you set it for the temperature, and it gets to the temperature, and it holds it at that temperature. Mm -hmm. But now, what must you do to make yourself tea? You must... Open, and this is a lot of work, so I can understand why people might not be willing to do this. Tear open a paper sachet and drop a bag into the cup. Yeah. And so, then... And no, you're not done yet. You're not done I'm yet. I'm not done yet. No. The most critical labor-intensive part is coming up. So you tore open, you, you tore open, or you used an open it... Or you got Dane to come in with scissors or Colleen with a welding it, torch. Dane, bring get the scissors. This. It's time for tea. <laughs> yes. Get this. Get this. Colleen, I cannot get this tea bag out of this paper wrap. Help. Help. Okay. So now the tea bag is out of the paper package. Mm-hmm. The hot water is there. What, now what do you have to do? Now what do you do? Um, you drop the bag into the cup. Yes, 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 and then... Yes, and then... I'm sure there's an answer to this question. I don't know. You, you pour the water into the, 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 the cup? No, you have to start dunking. 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 Oh, I see. I have people for that. Oh, 
Well, then maybe the new model won't be that. Wait a minute. This is a teapot that automatically dunks? Yes, Leo. <laughs> this is so bizarre. It's basically the kettle you have with all the features. It makes the water to the exact temperature. It holds the water. But now it has a stainless steel auto raise and lower. Oh, please. Tea basket. See, I, that's what I have the tea penguin for. Oh, yeah, but now it's another appliance. Ah, let's so start combining. We, yes, we put the tea. You see, even if you pour the water in, you put the tea in the auto raise and lower tea basket. The water gets to the temperature it's supposed to be. And then, using a magnetic drive, of course. the tea dunker starts down the stainless steel shaft and <laughs> submerges into the water yes. at the proper temperature. It stays there depending on how you set it. Oh, see, that's if the you issue. you want weak, medium, or strong tea, it dunks it for the proper amount of time. And then raises itself out of harm's oh, way. Oh, this is one of the common mistakes that tea novices make. Is is maybe they get the temperature just right. Maybe they're smart enough to do that. But you must time precisely the amount of time that yes. the tea bag is submerged in the one hundred and eighty-two yes. degrees. Yes. Now I don't know if Dan was lying, but he told me that you have fired four people at Twit. For overextending oh, yeah. tea bag oh, tea. dunking. You can't yeah. get a good tea dunker these days. No. They're no. so hard to find. So, but now for the same $250 that you pay. Now, maybe, Leo, if you would write them a letter <laughs> say, and say, piece of crap my, never worked. <laughs> I wouldn't put it exactly. No? Oh, that. good. Okay. <laughs> This piece of electronic equipment it's failed fine. to meet my needs. Failed to meet my needs. Yeah, exactly. And I was wondering if you might replace it. With a And do you happen to have one of the new dunker. ones? Did they yeah, send one you one? Two. No, they didn't. Because I'm going to well, be see, mad. Uh, I don't no. drink tea. And, and so I said to the woman, you know... Don't send me one. Oh, but I could call them in your behalf. I said, but I would love to have a demo because I want to see this little. So did dunker. it work? Do its thing, yeah. So you you know the temperature comes up on the plate. Uh, you know, there's a little digital window, of course, to tell you uh, when it's reached temperature. And then the little guy silently, silently, so that you, yeah, yeah, you won't. You wouldn't think, oh, did someone fall in the turning basin? You don't want, yeah. yeah exactly. You don't want that. And you don't want, you know, water to <laughs> out of the slosh. So exactly. it probably goes, does it go, does it have a light, slight whirring sound? Well, it's, it's magnetic. I, I, I did not remember. Yeah, more like a little like that. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Not quite that. Halfway between the first one and the second. It's way, it's way lighter, lighter, lighter. There you go. You got it now. Got it now. So if they want to do a commercial, I'll also Is tell it available them now? Yeah, it's available. It was to be shipping at the end of April or early May. This is the BTM 800 XL. That is correct. I guessed it. You One guessed touch it. touch T-Maker from Bravia. $200. Yeah, Holy but that's what God. yours was too, right? Was it? I don't know. Yeah, I thought when you said it, I thought I remember falling it was off pricey. my chair. It yeah, was a very, pricey. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, they No, made, no, the variable temperature kettle was $135. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So this is this yeah. is more than that. Wow. Th now, that's a big jump in price. Two fifty. Well, right? that's because it's got the basket dunker. Yeah, the basket dunker. Yeah, it's something. It's Actually, something. the list price on the uh, BKE 820XL variable temperature kettle is $199. But I, but well, Amazon selling, selling it for 250. Amazon was selling it for 135. That's the it, But see, I have oh. all three of these. This is interesting. For 493, you can get the tea kettle, the toaster, and the smart oven. I have all three of those. I'm a Breveal household. Wow, you are. Now you I want the tea I, I suggest you send him a very nice note. 
I think and, they should. And send the other oh, one I back. Think they should. Oh, I do. Except now, yeah. now I'm because of the uh, Aerobi AeroPress, which you turned me on to. Now I'm a coffee drink. I haven't had tea in ages. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Okay. I love this stuff. I really, I'm not kidding. I, you, you've turned me into a coffee guy. Oh, I'm a coffee person from way mm. back. I mean, if this had an automatic coffee dunking arm, well, then I, I wouldn't do it anyway. <laughs> Um, but you could always tell Jen you got her that, and it hasn't come yet. I could paint it brass. <laughs> there you color. go. There you. So all you need is stop by the hardware store. Some brass a paint, spray paint. I'm hey, set. There you, there you go. Buck ninety nine. Spray bronze paint. Go to the garage. You got yeah, it made. You're golden. No, I'm sorry. You're bronze. No, you're bronzing. You're bronzing. You're bronzing. Bronzing. I love that bronzing. All right, good, good, good. I'm liking this. You've got such good ideas. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And the letter is yes. a letter is from a man who didn't listen to a special Tuesday show because the subject line is the woot box of crap is just a scam. It's just a box of crap. Yeah. Steve C writes, I've been trying to get the woot box of crap for years. I found it impossible well, somebody because gets their it. servers are always going down under the load. Or at least that's how it's made to look. Uh -huh. So when I try to buy one, nothing ever happens. It's a scamalicious, he says. <laughs> at first, I thought it was the result of lots of shoppers trying to get the deal. But after trying for years, I've come to the realization it's impossible. And there aren't any boxes of crap at all. Ha! But they keep it going because it's good advertising. Oh, I Why beg to differ. Something up for sale that you can't really buy unless it's a scam. A lot of stuff they normally sell is crap, too. I've already got my share of crap from them without getting one of those BOC deals, box of crap deals. But Steve C., our own Jamma B., did. Uh, get a box of crap. It was last Tuesday's, actually today, uh, April 20th's Daily Gizwiz. It does exist, but he will tell you, if you listen to that show, that he bought it, but it took their computer almost 40 minutes uh -huh. to even acknowledge that his payment had gone through. I think our so, friend lacked the patience. I think that's what it is. And also, yes. you need now, you have to play it. You have to solve a mystery oh, yeah. before you're even allowed to uh, buy the box. It is the crap. price of success, my friend. Yeah. Oh, you know, and also check my website because Jamba B sent uh, a link to a video of a man whose prize was 300, I think, 368 cans of turtle wax <laughs> which came on a pallet that i heard the trucker say it weighed more than a thousand pounds <laughs> so i anyway. love it, oh, I love yeah. it. Oh, also I love lee it. i wanted to mention because you said when it gets up there mention it on the daily giz was yes. the alfred e newman wristwatch clock is at ebay it went up today as we tape this, but it ends Tuesday the 27th. Tomorrow, as we uh, listen yeah, to this. Yes, tomorrow in real life. In, in, uh, in, pod year, in, in podcast years, it ends tomorrow at noon. So, so it's an Alfred E. Newman if, if clock you, wristwatch. If you go to uh, ebay.com, what would you suggest searching uh, Actually, on? if you go to my website and click on Mad Collectibles, there's a link to... Better, better. Just go to gizwiz.biz. Yeah. Oh, man, collectibles. One auction ended yesterday. Kind of disappointing. I thought that uh, the stuff in the warehouse would bring tons of money. I sold an Alfred E. Newman memo pad that only 100 of them made. What? 
that only that sold to thirty six dollars. I know. It's well, it was just a memo pad. Yes. Well, it was a memo pad made only for the top one hundred distributors, and the joke was that it says "memo everywhere" on every page, so there's really no place to put a memo. So, <laughs> And then one year we made Alfred E. Newman fake money, and it was a pack of, I think, 14 uh, Alfred E. Newman fake dollar bills. Uh, that went for $56. Oh, my. So, that, that was, so, so I'm, looking, I'm looking for, now, where do I find that watch? Uh, uh, Mad, Mad Collectibles. Collectibles. See, okay. see, see uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, There it is. There's the big watch. Okay. There's the big watch. And then uh, the link to the eBay is uh, the, right uh, netcast ebay auction no oh you posted it on twitter oh no no ebay auction it's there just go uh, go back to my site or maybe right. i should uh clear that up a little it says uh here here's is. the auction and oh you haven't posted it yet no it's there it says here's a link to the auction ah i see i see I see. It ends next Tuesday, eight twelve in the morning, and there it is. Well, look at that, one hundred eighty-two fifty already. Oh my word! Yeah, and what's the reserve oh. though? You gotta have, you got a good reserve. <laughs> Leah, have you ever sold anything on eBay? No. Leah, do you know what people do? What? They bid the last thirty seconds. Yeah, they snipe. I was watching yesterday, and the both things were up for ten dollars, and I'm going. I cannot believe I'm getting ten thousand. I thought I'd at least get a hundred each, and then suddenly at thirty seconds it's still ten dollars. And then like the computer goes berserk, and it the money changes so fast you can't even see right. it. And and one of them ended up thirty six thirty. I guess I guess but the computer just got going through everybody's bid. Well now uh, now that if you're listening to this show, not not watching live, but if you're listening to this show. The auction ends tomorrow morning, so get yeah. in there and get a bid in there. Yeah. And uh, you, I guess when you have a reserve, you don't say what the reserve is. Yeah, it's there. The reserve is $50, but it's long been met. What says reserve not met? I don't understand. What did you say? It, it's already it's up to 100 182 50 Wow. That's, yeah, that, that's well, You golden. must have set a high reserve. No. I actually, a friend of mine is auctioning this, and, and uh, when you I went on You better tell morning, your friend to look at the reserve. Oh, okay. It doesn't say reserve fifty bucks. I it says, it doesn't. It says reserve not met at one hundred eighty-two fifty. Oh, okay. I Maybe he knows email. what he's doing. There's a strategy. Well, it could be. It. Could be. I think the strategy is at twenty seconds before it ends, we're going to take it off auction. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. That'll Just throw to see him. if anybody's paying attention. That'll throw him. This is good. <laughs> I, I want you to raise a lot of money on this. This is a. Oh, well, thank you. It's a very thank good you. cause. Uh, someday Dick's hair will grow Dick's back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Thank you so much for doing that. Very exciting. Very exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. It is exciting. And don't forget, you know, while you're at the Gizwiz Biz, there's always great stuff to do. You should visit that show, site every day. He's got great fun games and gadgets and prizes. What the heck is it contest? And, of course, you could get notes on everything that we talk about on the show. So every day he's updating that with the latest. You know what they did with our money the, for the Dick's Gadget Warehouse? What? You'll be very impressed, Leo. What? Finally, I've been there 35 years, they put in a new elevator. Oh, that thing was so creaky. Oh my gosh! It's the same elevator, but now it has. It really knows where it's going. Yeah, and you that, don't was, hear the, that was something that happened. I didn't like. It, we the were chains when you. you like, oh, scary! And then it wouldn't stop at a floor. Yeah. It would stop like a Halfway. foot above the yeah. floor. It needed. It needed to be updated. <laughs> it, it did. So this is good. This is good. Um, yeah. I have the recording somewhere of us going up in that thing. I should. Oh, save we have to that. find that one day yeah. and play that. By thing. the way, yes. Two hundred fifty dollars now. Are and, you serious? And the reserve has been met. So the oh, reserve. Oh, I, I am, I, Leah. I am so thrilled. I, I can't believe it. See, I told My, you. What were you going to sell yeah, it for? I, I, I was gonna. I was going to. Someone offered me two hundred dollars for it, but I said I want to hold out for one month's rent on the gadget warehouse, three hundred and fifty-five dollars. And you said you can do better. You can do better. Good. We'll plug it on the air, and you'll do better than three fifty. I hope so. This is your way of showing your support for Dick and getting a great bit of memorabilia, and also saving Leo putting out the money between what you finally bid 
and the three hundred and fifty five dollars that he said I'll do better oh, than. Dear. So in a way, no, don't do that because don't do that because they'll 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 intentionally keep oh, it no, low don't do that. just to skewer no, no. me. No, 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 no. You know he has enough problems trying to find something in brass. <laughs> this isn't it in is brass, brass, is it? Is it? <laughs> no. Now you got now you got my interest. Mm, now it we're talking. It could be brass. <laughs> bronze the damn thing. No, that's good. All right, everybody go uh, take a look at that at gizwiz.biz, and you have a little more time to bid. And I think it is worth more because it's a, it's a great piece of mad history. And you know, the best part is it smells like the gadget warehouse. It does. Just like it. it. So you and it hung in my own office at the old mad address, 485 Mad. It's oh, really? Oh. Yeah. So it's a collector's. It's a. The usual bot, cast of idiots. That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dick. Tomorrow I have a uh, turn the table Tuesday something or other. A doodad, a g job. No, I heard it's good. I heard it's good. It has it. I'll show you the bottom half. It's got three legs. Oh, not that penguin thing again. <laughs> You could do is a that teapot. That's the tripod tea dunker. It's the tripod tea dunker. You're good. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Hey, we'll talk to you tomorrow, Dick. I'll be here. D A I L Y. It's the day.